and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be creating this look here. This is a take two because I tried to film this yesterday and things just weren't going as I really wanted to take a look. You know what? I'm not even about to finish my face. Like, I hate, I, I hate the way this looks. Like, I just, I can't. I can't do this. See, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I just, I was feeling defeated, but I wanted to come back and tackle it again. And I am so glad I did because it turned out so much better today than it probably would have turned out yesterday. Cause as you see, like I completely changed the eye look and everything. So um, yeah, in this video, like I said, we're gonna be creating this look and oh, this, is a sweatshirt from one of my friends. He has a t-shirt line called Love Tees. His Instagram handle will be placed somewhere up in here and I'll make sure it's in the description box below just in case you want to contact him about ordering t-shirts. He has sweatshirts. He even has like jackets, which the jackets are bomb. I think I'm gonna end up getting one. Like I said, the details and stuff below, the details and stuff for this shirt will be below. And I'm not going to ramble, just make sure that you have already subscribed to my channel and that you have hit that notification bell so that way you never miss another upload. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you like this look, because we're bringing nice fall vibes here. You feel me? It's a vibe. It's a fall vibe. So yeah. Oh, and I'm doing my hair too. I'm showing you how I do my hair. Like how I get these like nice little waves too. In this video. I almost forgot. Cause yeah. So this is a hair and makeup tutorial. Boom. Alright. Let's get into it. <laughs> Alright. So we are just going to hop right into foundation. Because I've already like prepped and primed my skin. And as you see my eyebrows and stuff are done. So we're going to move right along into foundation for foundation today. It's new for you, but old for me. So this is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I absolutely love the coverage of this foundation. However, I don't love the shade range. Like this is the shade Cocoa and it's basically my shade and I think there might have only been like one or two shades darker than me let me check just to make sure I'm right because I don't want to misspeak one two three four five six seven eight nine ten shades and so like I said I got the shade Coco and there are only two shades that are darker than me so, and this is a little bit too dark, but not like a whole, whole lot dark. So, um, yeah, the shade range definitely needs to be worked on, but I do love the coverage. So I am going to start off, I'm going to do two pumps on my BS Small Face Round Brush. And just like dab it on and then just go into pressing it into the skin and see like it's like red on me but it's really not like that much you know like that much darker and bring it down the neck and so because I'm extra and like I said, this is red because I am looking real oopa loopa ish I'm going to take my um, Cover FX Total Cream Foundation. This is a neutral shade, so it kind of tones down the redness a little, but not a lot. We're really gonna tone it down with the concealer. But I'm just gonna go in and just apply some, just to kind of tone it, like I said, just to kind of tone it down. Just a little bit. I'm gonna try my ColourPop foundation again. I mean, not my ColourPop foundation, but my ColourPop concealer again. This is in medium dark 36. And then to contour, 
Lately, I've been taking a mixture of, this is still the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, but I've been taking a mixture of Deep Dark 50 and then Rich 74, Rich 75. As you know, Rich 75 was like one of the original shades when um, they first came out, but I don't really use it that much um, because it's like way too dark. So what I do is I apply the Deep Dark 50 first, obviously. And then with the Rich 75, I literally take like a little, just a little bit right on top of the number 50. And then I blend them together. <laughs> to try blending this out again with my brush. What I think I'm gonna do is like under my eye, I might just blend it out with my beauty blender. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm just taking medium 26 just for some extra highlight under my eye. Do a little baking, just a little bit up against the side of the nose. And I'm just, I'm really just gonna let this sit for a hot second, like. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. For foundation, uh, for foundation, Lord, for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using my Frankation palette and my Warm Neutrals palette to create, you know, the nice fall look that you saw in the beginning. So I'm gonna zoom you all in and we're gonna get started on this eyeshadows. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by priming the lid. I'm just gonna use um, the same thing that I used to um, carve out my eyebrow earlier, which is my NYX uh, Total Coverage or something. Whatever it's called, what is this called? Full Coverage, NYX Full Coverage Concealer. I use this all the time. I should definitely know the name of it, I'm sure. But excited for these new fall TV shows like I'm so excited there's like 10 different shows that I really want to watch so first in the frontcation palette I'm just going to take the shade basic and just apply that all over my lid but um yeah as I was saying like there are a ton of shows like between NBC and ABC and CBS, like there are a ton of shows that I want to watch, like um, the show called God Friended Me. Oh, I'm so excited to see that. I really hope it's good, like because it looks like it's gonna be good. So I really hope that it is. And then um, I started watching and then FBI, you know, that premiered too on Tuesday. So I'm excited about that. Next, I'm going to take Necessary, which is like this, um, I guess like medium brown shade, and then go in the crease, taking my same Morphe brush. This is my Morphe M502, and I'm just going to go in the crease with that. But yeah, so I watch FBI, which is along the lines, it seems like it's going to be along the lines of like another Law and Order type of deal. Oh my, and I love like Law and Order, especially SVU. Like, if you're an SVU fan, comment below. Let me know. Like, because that is my judge. Although, like, I kind of stopped watching it a lot um, after Stabler left because that was my dude, you know? 
I was so upset, but I still watched it like intermittently, but my favorite ones are when Stabler was there. But um, yeah, so I'm just still going in my crease, just building it up um, with the shade necessary. I'm going to actually take Rogue in my um, Warm Neutrals palette and go in with that because this seems to be a little bit darker as far as like a, you know, burgundy. So I'm going to take that actually. Actually, I think I just want to apply this all over my lid. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And um, I gotta catch back up on This Is Us. So now I'm going to take Girl By and just apply that like over top of Rogue. And Girl By, like this, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, this palette, <laughs> I forgot. This palette is so super pigmented, like, I uh, am, like, absolutely in love with it. Like, absolutely. And, um, I've never used, like, any do any Dose of Color products whatsoever before this. So, yeah. I want to go, like, a little, a little deeper, so... I'm just going to take a little bit of henna mixed with Girl By and then apply that all over because I just, I just want it to be a little bit darker. And henna is like a reddish brown. I, I want a little, because I want to utilize like, a, you know, a few more shades, I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, Try Me with my finger, like my ring finger, and I'm just gonna pop that, I just want some glitter, you know? Just gonna pop that on top. Ooh, this is pretty. Boom. So for, and I'm gonna, of course we're gonna do a winged liner. Take my ColourPop E6 and I am using my Maybelline Eye Studio Blackest Black Gel Liner. Boom. Oh no, we're not done. Because I got a line on the bottom. I'm tripping. So I'm just going to take the same gel liner and the same brush. <laughs> take um, Girl By and Churro and I'm gonna mix these two colors together and pop them underneath here. Just wanna utilize some more colors. Just actually gonna take a little bit of Cheens. Wait, which one? This one. This one's Cheens. I'm gonna take a little bit of that as well and um, Darken it up a little bit underneath here. Before mascara, y'all know what my holy grail has been lately, my Maybelline Total Temptation. Oh, I need my other uh, mascara for my bottom and I'm gonna wipe my nose situation. Okay. So then first on the bottom, of course, you know, we're going to go back in with my Maybelline. And then we're going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic. I'm in a much better mood today than I was yesterday. Like yesterday, I didn't want to be bothered. Like everything bothered me. So emotional. 
but that's because the load going to arrive, so, you know, whatever. So now I'm just going in with my CoverGirl Clean Matte. This is in Tawny 565. Okay, for the contour, a little bit of, what's this? What shade is this? Sable. Yeah, Translucent Sable from CoverGirl True Blends and my LA Girl Pro Face. I just take, go boom, boom. Take more of the um, LA Girl and then just, you know, liven up the face just a little bit. I want to take a little bit of what is this called? Just a kiss. I want to take just a kiss and I'm going to pop that into my um, inner corner. So it's best if you just apply it with your finger. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. It's going with my pinky. So now, time to highlight the face. I did get Chasing the Sun. This is, <laughs> I did get Chasing the Sun. This is absolutely beautiful. I swatched it, as y'all can see. So, oh, that is so pretty. That applies so nicely. Oh my gosh, that applied really nicely. Ooh, that's it. Mm. I definitely want to take some right there. Just gonna dab it on the top. Mm. Yes, I could bathe in this, honey. And this is just a Makeup Forever um, lipstick in the shade 501. And so now I'm going to take my a Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX in the shade Copenhagen and then just go on top of that. Yes, ain't it cute? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the bathroom so I can show you how I style my hair. Um, and then you will be done. All right, so we are in my bathroom. We're gonna take this off. Edges were already being laid as I was um, filming, so. This is the natural state of my, of the hair, not my hair, but the hair, you know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start, or actually, I'm just gonna apply some of this um, ORS humidity control. My hair first, like just like all on the side that I'm working with first. So I tend to work on my left side first. And be as rough as you want, don't really matter, you know. I have not brushed this hair in some days, so it might sound like some crunching apples, but you know, whatever. So, and then I'm going to take this Perfect Shine Oil Mist Color and Heat Protective by Nature Lab and just spray some of that. And then starting at the end, using my comb brush. I don't really know what it's called. I call it a comb brush. <clears throat> using that. So all I'm gonna do is just take, start at the bottom, clip this up, 
And so I use a flat iron for this. Um, this is a Chi Air flat iron. Um, I got it from Target, I believe. It was about $90 from Target, if I'm not mistaken. Look, 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 look now. So all I'm gonna do is just take it and I should have done a smaller piece, but it's fine. I like more of a wave, so I don't really, I don't really need to do small, small pieces. So all I'm doing is just going all the way to the ends of it and then just like wrap it up, wrapping it up. And we just hold it for a few, you know. I really like this makeup look. And then all I do is just like unravel it a little, slide it off, and then I hold it for a few. Like I put my finger in, this is about to sound so bad, but I put my finger in the hole. <laughs> and then I just like hold it until it kind of cools off. Uh, yeah, we got like a nice little wave, like a nice little curl, you know. And that's, I mean, that's basically all I do. Like, so, show you again. I'm just gonna take a piece, and I don't need to put any like extra, you know, oil or protectant or anything on it since I already did it and brushed it through. So I'm just gonna take a piece, clip it over. See, that's how it should be. <laughs> and I'm um, just gonna take it, go all the way down, and then I'm just gonna doo -doo, and then wrap it up. So probably not how most people do it, but yeah, you know, whatever. look here with the hair and makeup completely done so um mm, I feel like I need to recurl this but I'm not about to do that right now so anyway this is the finished look with the hair and makeup completely done um I hope you like it I am so glad that this turned out a million times better than what was happening yesterday um <laughs> so so yeah um make sure that you have already subscribed to my channel and that you have given this video a big thumbs up and again like not again but and <laughs> comment below and let me know what it is that you want to see next and i keep saying and like and 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 anyway Comment below, let me know what it is that you wanna see next. The um, Instagram handle, God, I can't think. I think cause I'm rushing, like I really gotta get out of the house now for church, but the Instagram handle for how to order your love t-shirt, sweatshirt, jacket, whatever, um, is below in the description box. And on that note, I'm out.